Welcome to House TV. This is your host, Cassandra House, with Chats with Cass, the podcast, where we talk about mindset and heartset on all things belief, leadership, and life. I truly believe that anything is possible if you believe. And so I'm so excited that you're here because I want to be your human sized permission slip to believe in yourself. Anything is possible together because if I can, you can. I want you to just close your eyes for a minute. Close your eyes for a minute. Put your hand on your heart. And I want you to just take a really deep breath in. And as you're breathing in, I want you to count to five. Ready? Go one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to hold for four. Three, two, one. And you're going to breathe out for five. Four, three, two, one. And we're going to do that two more times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it. One, two, three, four. We're going to go out five. Four, three, two, one. And again, one, two, three, four, five. Hold for four, three, two, one. And breathe out five, four, three, two, one. I want you to breathe in at your own pace, I want you to breathe in blue air. Breathe in blue air, calming blue air. And when you breathe out, I want you to see yourself breathing out hot, red, tense air of anything that's holding you back. Get all out and in, in, breathing in blue, calm air. Blue, calming streams of blue. When you breathe out, see yourself blowing out, breathing out the things holding you back that are red. I want you to turn the air that you breathe in into green. Green means go. Green means good. Green means moving forward, breathing green. Choose one thing here that you want to let go. Let go of it and breathe out red. Breathe in. Green. It's green and calm. And choose one last thing that you'd like to let go of. Breathe it out in red. Tense out. And now that you've freed yourself from what is holding you back and you've breathed in green, the good go energy, I want you to set an intention for this call. How would you like to walk out of this call? What is your intention? All is welcome. Everything is perfect. Whatever comes to your heart, choose what your intention is for this call. And open your eyes. And I would love to sh- you to share how you feel. Just how you feel. One word, two words. How do you feel? Free, calm, peace centered, unstuck, relaxed, amazing. I love those. You're all absolutely powerful, incredible individuals that we together as a union of 80 people can co-create whatever we put our mind to. Whatever we put our mind to. How amazing is that? Whatever you put your mind to. So I want you to give yourself permission now to create whatever you desire and dream of and know that everything is welcome and everything is yours and everything is okay. Now, when you do that breathing, the holding breathing, what it does, it calms the nervous system. It's a really powerful tool. When you breathe in, you hold on for four and then you let it out. It's a really powerful tool to truly let go and calm your nervous system and give yourself that deep permission 
to go all in and what you're creating. Okay, so we're going to spend some time now that you've helped, got your intention. So write your intention down. I want you to think of your game plan for 2022. Okay, now to create a 2022 game plan, we need to take the lessons and the learnings of 2021 and truly think how are we going to go into the new year? So I want you to write this down in your paper and we're going to just do this together. What is something that you're proud of in 2021? Now, throughout this call, you can write it um, down. You're free to share it if there's something on your heart that you'd like to share. I want you to write, what are you proud of from 2021? What are you proud of from 2021? I'm proud of the way that I went through lockdowns and restrictions and COVID and used that to my advantage as opposed to it using me. That's something I'm proud of. I'd love to know what you're proud of. Or you can just keep it to yourself and write down, what are you proud of? Okay, what did you learn? What's something you learned? It's something that you learned in 2021. Because one of the things I remember always is that you either win or you learn. That's it. There's no loss. There's no failure. You win or you learn. What did you learn in 2021? One thing I learned is that we actually create our world. No matter what happens out there, we actually have the power to create the world within our own environment. We are the center of the hurricane. We have to realize that we have to hold the center of the hurricane. And guess what the center, the eye of the hurricane is like? It's actually calm and it's actually peaceful. So wherever you go in the world, I want you to be that eye of the hurricane. And I love that some of you have seen that consistency is key. The things that we say in normal life really are the secret weapons in the tough times, aren't they? The things that we say, the things that we, oh, consistency, be all in, all that. In the tough times, that's crucial, isn't it? So you've learned how to be powerful and use your thoughts into your power. I love that. I love that. Okay, so what are you letting go of? What is something that's not serving you? So I encourage you to only go into this year, and then we're only in the first few days. We're in the first few days where we're truly putting our sat nav into where we're headed. What are you letting go of? What are you letting go of? Because you know what? We all talk about getting the year ready, all of that. Not many people in the world actually sit down and do a call like this. Did you know that? You're that powerful. What are you letting go of? One of the things I've heard a lot of is negative or negativity, negative speech, negative things like that, and negative people, things like whatever it is. So what are you letting go of? And just remember that you get what you tolerate. So you actually can choose. Evie's definitely letting go of unconfidence. She's going to be the most confident woman, the most confident and powered woman ever. I can feel it. Yes, being perfect, letting go of doubt. Yes, things like that. And what, what is one thing? So you might be letting go of a few things, right? What is one thing that you will not take into 2022? I'm not taking any excuses. I am very good at justifying subpar behavior or treatment or business people that might you know say promise things and never do it not in my team but just in general business I'm very good at putting up with it and making really good excuses for that them not for me but for them so I hold myself to like no excuses but for other people I let them make all these excuses and be okay with it so from this moment um and my beautiful team behind the scenes that help Cassandra House, B. Cassandra House um, have really helped me with this. And we're demanding of respect and loving boundaries. That's the theme of 2022. So I'm letting go of excuses for other people's behavior. So what are you letting go of? Procrastination, love it. And feel free to be open and vulnerable. Like this is a safe place. This is a place where we can all be together. 
and everything's welcome. And there will be a time where I do Q&A if you have any questions you'd like to ask, things like that. Okay, what are your biggest three wins of 2021? What are your biggest three wins of 2021? And on, on the live, love that Kate Evans. No burdens of other people's opinions of yourself. Yes. Love that. Yes, Shelly, leaving not feeling worthy. Oh, my goodness. So key. Do you know that you hold the key to your worthiness? No one else does. So many times in life we spend our time looking for the key outside, but the key is within our hands. We have the power. Look at all your beautiful faces. I love you all. Ah, so loving to be all together. Okay, now this is my favourite part. What was your word of 2021? Now, I want you to be honest. Who forgets their word of 2021? Does anyone forget their word of 2021? I do. I honestly, I'm just going to tell you, I forget my word of 2021, but I remember spending like a day working it out. But do you know what? Do you know why I forgot it? It's because it was too long. It was like this word and this word and this word, which means this, this, and this. And when someone said, what's your word? I didn't just have a word. I had like a whole like explanation. Too much for me, right? So if you forgot, don't worry, I forgot too. But what I want you to do is find one word that's just like, yes. When you hear it, you're like, yes, for 2022. What is your 2022 word? I'll show you mine. So mine's alignment. So it was like abundance and in alignment, all these things. I was like, right, alignment is abundant. If I'm in alignment, I'm going to attract more abundance. And if I'm in alignment, I'm going to say no to any poor behavior. If I'm in alignment, I'm going to partner, connect and work with those that lift me up and help me stay in alignment. Alignment is like, to me, this word that brings me like this whole soul protection and makes me walk and speak differently. And I know it's a word we throw around, but is everything you're doing, saying, looking at, speaking to, hearing, eating, smelling, tasting, spending time with spending on taking you to your truest, highest, grandest vision you hold for yourself. So I want to share that inspo with you. Mine's alignment. What is yours? I would love to know. And believing in myself and believing is also alignment. Because if you believe in yourself and you feel good, you're in alignment with what you want. If you don't feel good, then you know that you're out of alignment with what you truly want. Love that, Brie. We're in, we're in alignment. <laughs> okay. What's your word? Okay. Now you've got your word. Now you've got to own this word. So I encourage you all after this call, to make a post, if you've already done it, that's fine. Post about how you've already applied it. So make a post with your word in a picture. I'm going to do it too. I have my word in a picture. And that's like my declaration. And when you think, oh, I wonder what it was, have I forgotten? I want you to scroll back and have that as in like that's on your gram, that's on your Facebook, wherever you want to put it. Tag me and share with the world what that means to you because you will inspire other people by doing it. And last question of this section, what's your intention for 2022? So what is your intention in line with your word that you're going to use to get to that place? I think it's time for some nice background music while we do this. So what is your intention? Your intention is to believe. Intention, amazing, Bronica. So my intention is to say yes two things that take me closer to what I desire, closer to my highest, truest, grandest vision, which then would put me into alignment. So how does your intention link to your word? Okay, so if, you're, if your intention, if your word, sorry, is habits or discipline, then your intention would be to keep your word. Whatever you put your word to, be really cautious, be really certain, be very aware, be very um, sure before you speak. But what you put your word to, you do no matter what. And that would build a habit and that would build a discipline. Okay. So how does your word as a statement showcase to the world how you're going to operate and act daily 
so that that word is truly a word you live by. So what is your intention in relation to your statement? What's your intention? Yes, Bree, have unconditional faith and trust. I love that. Um, what is your intention? What is your intention for all the things? And now we're going to do an audit of our business. Now, it doesn't matter what business you're in, if you're in um, traditional business, online business, network marketing, whatever it is. I want you to start recording and auditing your business. Okay. So, for example, I want you to write down what you earned in 2021. What did you earn in 2021? Now, what would you love to earn in 2022? What would that difference be? What did you earn in 2021? And what did you what would you love to earn in 2022? Now, whatever you wrote down for what you want to earn, I want you. So who knows what they want to earn? Hand up if they know what they'd love to earn in 2022. And you know, you get what you expect. So if you don't know, this is a moment to decide because otherwise you'll just go about life and you'll earn and you won't know and it won't be what you want, right? And whatever you wrote down for what you want to earn, I want you to double it. I want you to double that number. So if you wrote down 100,000, I want you to double it. And whatever that is, I want that to be your stretch goal. I want that to be your new goal. Okay, now, how does that feel? How do you feel when you, when you see that double? How do you feel if your goal is 20,000? Oh, that's no, so we're talking the year, sorry. If your goal is 200,000, okay, now it's 400,000. There you go, Kimberly. There we go. There we go. She's on it. Now, whatever you wrote down, now, I want you to double that. I want you to double that. I want you to double that for the year. What if you doubled what you doubled and then you doubled? So instead of earning 100,000, you're earning 200,000. Now we've come to the agreement that you could earn $400,000 this year. What if we got to that? Whatever, whatever business, industry, whatever it is. But what if you, what if you felt like that double was true? And what if we doubled it one more time? What if we doubled it one more time? So we're at 100 and then we're at 200 and then we're at 400 and now we're at 800 or whatever it is. What is your now doubled, 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 doubled number? Write it in the chat. Write it in the chat. If it's a million, someone asked in the chat, double it. If it's 2 million, double it. Just write that down. Write down what you feel. Love this. A million pounds, 80,000 monthly, 8 million, 2 million, 640. I love this. So good. Okay. So what is your double, 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 double number? What is that number? I love that we're so um, global. Okay. We're so global. We got the UK, the US, Australia, New Zealand. We've got some Europe on. We've got all of the beeps from all the places. I love it. All the currencies. Now, when you look at this number, who feels like, oh my goodness, how? Who feels that? Okay, so I'm going to teach you something. Money is currency and it's an energetic exchange. So to actually get four times, four doubles of what you're doing, what you were doing and what you expected, because what you wrote, you're like, right, this is what I'm going to make in 2022. Now we've moved it four times, right? You actually need to do four times the impact and the lives change than you're doing to currently get your first, first amount. But the way to do that is to energetically move there first. So the journey has to feel like the destination feels. Now I want you to imagine that you are calling in this figure like you're manifesting a person okay so close your eyes okay, whether it's eight hundred dollars or a million dollars or two million dollars or five hundred thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars whatever it is for you it's something you want and know 
energetically, if your paycheck today was that last number you wrote, how would you act and feel now? So if I said to you, Nikki, Nikki Browse, celebrity brown artist, you know what? You've just been written a check today for $48 million before you've even gone into the year. Now I want you to work, act, speak and believe, dress up, treat people like it's done today. Imagine that $48 million, Nikki, is a partner. So if you're a woman, man, whatever, it's a partner. Imagine if that was a person. How would you call in that person? If you wanted a $48 million partner, husband, say Nikki, I'm just giving you an example, would you be scrolling on your phone, procrastinating, making all these excuses? Not that you are, I'm just giving you an example. Or would you be like positive, abundant, generous, dressing up, walking like you mean it? Same with you, Melissa, $40,000 a month. If $40,000 a month hit up today, would you get up out of bed, not scroll, not hit your alarm 10 times on snooze? Like, how would you act? And energetically, how would you feel now if that hit your bank today? So if you got off this call, bang, that money was there. Whoa, how would you feel? Has anyone ever met a partner, like gone on a date, met someone was like, oh my goodness, all of a sudden you're super into them. You're like, oh, I better level up. Have you ever felt that? <laughs> This is similar. I want you, okay, so who's become a mum and thought, oh my goodness, okay, wow, I'm pregnant. Okay, it's, not, it's game time. Like, whoa, things are changing. Who's ever gone to the doctor and heard that there's a health issue and all of a sudden the game changes? Who's ever found out that, oh, they're spending, 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 and then looked at their account, their account, it's like you've got a massive tax debt, you've got to stop spending, and bang, the game changes. Who's? I'm trying to give you an example so that you can all relate somewhere. Who's felt that? Any of those? This is the same. You cannot want here and expect here and know you're worthy of here when you're vibrating here and when you're acting here. You've got to work here and then you'll get this because the journey has to feel like the destination feels. So if I dropped, Veronica, $2 million in your account today, how would you show up? What would you do? How would you speak? What would you, you, you'd start serving more people and helping more people and volunteering and wouldn't you? You'd do all sorts of things. Christine, if you got $640,000 today and it started after this call, where and how would you feel? What would you do? What would you move into? How would you go about things? What would you expect? Like, what would you, what would you step into? Who would you step into? In the chat, I want you to share who, and it can be $50,000, it can be $2,000. It doesn't matter. The, the, the income number doesn't matter. What it is, it's four times your energy. It's four times your vision. It's four times in you to actually step in to the truest, highest, grandest vision you hold for yourself. Okay, it's helping you step into the truest, highest, grandest vision you hold for yourself. If you made six figures in a day to Shauna, how would you show up? What sort of posts would you make? Would you be consistent? Would you just be like scrolling on Instagram doing nothing? Or would you be like, oh my goodness, I'm going to use this time to serve. I'm going to get up and do my personal power hour. I'm going to do my evening gratitude. I'm going to write my five things I'm going to do the next day. How would you act? Because the, the universe is paying you in accordance to where you're at today and how you're showing up today. Currency is energy and you can attract whatever you want. You've got to step into that person, step into the place, step into her shoes, step into his shoes. What sort of person would you become? Because it's not about what you do, it's the person you become that gives you the income. Become income, they're linked. Who are you coming to be? Coming into, coming to be, coming to help. Who are you coming to step into? And what and who is that person? 
I want you to close your eyes for a minute. It's New Year's Eve 2022. And that four figure that you talked about with Cass on the 5th and 6th of January is now yours. You did it. And as you stand on this beautiful rooftop on New Year's Eve, looking over your favourite city or favourite view of mountains, favourite whatever you can see, you have your favourite drink in your hand, you have your favourite person, people around you, and you're celebrating because you did it. You did it. You got there. You did it. You became her. You became him. What changed? You really had to let go of those things from 2021, didn't you? You really did it. You didn't just say it on that call with Cass. You did it. You didn't just say you're going to let go of things. You didn't just say that word that you chose for 22. 22. You lived it. What does your bank account look like? What does your time look like? You're now that 2 million, 50 million, 100 grand a day. You're the 40 grand a month, the 80 grand a month girl and guy. What does it feel like? How does she feel? How does he feel? What does he wear? What does he say yes to? What does he say no to? You're standing there at New Year's Eve and you did it. You did all the things. What had to change? What had to shift? Who did you have to become? Feel who they are now. You're standing there. You did it. How does that feel? feel it wasn't that someone just said it to you in this moment on this day you chose this you chose this feeling you became familiar to her to him you became familiar to the truest highest grandest vision you hold for yourself and you made a decision why wait why not me to have it all why not me to live the life now, to retire my parents now, to buy the home in Florida, to be able to have a family, to be able to say no to that nine to five, be able to buy the plane ticket, to do the things, to live the life now. What are you willing to give up to pay the price of him or her? What are you willing to say no to, to say yes to the truest, highest grandest vision you hold and you walk into that dream home of yours after you've floated up you've all done this one with me you floated up and you've landed on that front doorstep and you don't walk in to meet your future self you are the future self that walks up those stairs walks down that pathway walking towards the dreamiest most gorgeous place that you love that you've now paid for outright because you became them. You you owned it. That is you. That house represents you on the inside, the energetic exchange, the level of giving and loving and serving and all the things. And you walk into that house and own it because you actually made it to be your truest, highest, grandest vision, your future self now. And you walk around that house. You see all the perfection, the people, the family, the love, the abundance, the choices the unlimited finances, the unlimited opportunity, that anything is possible. And you are so glad that back on that day, the 5th and 6th of January, wherever you are in the world, you chose to choose you. And by choosing you, you have served generations. Your children's children's children are going to remember that year, 2022, where you changed the game and you stand at new year's eve and you can say to yourself it was my best year ever feel the feeling you did it feel the feeling of accomplishment feel the feeling of excitement feel that release of oh that accomplishment that fun that excitement that amazing feeling that you feel and you did it and you are so proud of you and in this moment, I want you to feel what those feelings are. Identify the feelings. Identify five key feelings that you're feeling right now. I'm feeling accomplished. I'm feeling excited. I'm feeling proud. 
I'm feeling love and I'm feeling so much fun. What are your five feelings? The five feelings attached to the truest, highest, grandest vision of you, you being you, your future self, walking in and living this with that that $2 million, that $5 million, that $10 million, that $100 million, that $200 million, that $10,000, that $80,000. What number do you know that you're worthy and deserving of? You feel it, you see it, and you know it's yours and it's done because you went to that energetic feeling of that level before it came and that's why it came to you what are the five feelings attached to that five feelings what are they feel them feel what it's like to feel him or her feel what it's like to feel you the real you with no limiting beliefs nothing in the way no doubts no fear nothing because you actually know that everything you want and need is already within you you've just got to believe it I want you to open your eyes. I want you to write down those five feelings. Open your eyes and write down right now those five feelings. What are they? Write down those five feelings. What are they? And if you feel emotional or anything in relation to that, I want you to know that that is good because it's a breakthrough. It's you feeling you because sometimes... We push down the real you, the real us, for the house we live in, the clothes we wear, the car we drive, what people say to us. Guess what? It's time to be you, unapologetically you. What are the five feelings that you feel? Proud, Mel, excited, safe, emotional, stress-free. Let's turn stress-free to peaceful. So we want to speak what we want. To Shauna, grateful, accomplished, thrilled release, freedom, pride. Imagine if you lived in that feeling all the time because guess what? The journey has to feel like the destination feels. So wouldn't this be how it has to be? Wouldn't you need to live in her or him today to get it? Wouldn't you? Joy feels love and joy and gratitude. Excited, grateful, peaceful. This is where you are live now this is you this is the real you because on this call you're present to you this is the real you i want you to make a declaration with yourself that you will only say yes to things that feel like these feelings because if the journey has to feel like the destination feels the journey has to feel like that's from today so from being on this call which feeling are you you keep ticking off. Like I'm feeling love on this call. So that's one of my five feelings. So I tick that off. I'm feeling excited to be on here. That's another one. I'm ticking that off just by being on this call. After this, I'm going to go and go to one of my favorite restaurants. That's going to make me feel excited. That's another one of my feelings. When I finish that, I might go and have a massage, go for a shop. That's going to make me feel fun. That's another one of my feelings. If I have to do something for my business and it's something I don't love and it might be a bit of, a bit of bookkeeping, I'm going to feel proud that I even get to crunch those numbers. If you have to clean the house, feel excited because, look, you can delegate and have a cleaner, but we can't all do that. Even as I travel, I still have to clean up. Feel excited that you even have stuff to clean. If you've got to pick up the kids and you think, oh, I want to do this instead, think, feel proud that you've got two or three or one beautiful children to pick up. You've got to say yes to these feelings. Now, if something doesn't make you feel like that, if someone's having a conversation and you don't feel one of your, if you think this feels weird and then you think, hang on, does this make you feel fun, loved, grateful, proud, accomplished or excited? No. Do you know what? I'm going to remove myself because this is affecting me getting to the truest, highest, grandest vision I hold for myself because the journey has to feel like the destination feels. You've got to live in the feelings of the you we just experienced. You've got to live in the version of you that you just experienced. So from this place, how would you show up? How many people would you want to have in your team? How many new customers would you be able to impact? 
how many people would you like to promote this year? What would your annual turnover from your business be if you were making this sort of funds or any of your businesses? What would the turnover be? But what if you lived and operated that business from all these feelings and the journey felt like the destination feels, you'd actually attract in. And if you don't know how, if you're thinking, I don't know how I would go from where I am today to this big number, it's all on energy and attraction. You're a magnet to what you feel. So if you feel good, you're going to attract a good client. If you feel excited, you're going to attract an exciting opportunity. If you feel proud, you're going to attract something that someone's going to bring to you that you can do so you feel proud. If you feel accomplished, you're going to attract awards and recognition so you feel accomplished. You're going to attract who and what you are. You don't change to someone else. You become more of who you are without all the shackles of fear, anxiety, limiting beliefs and things like that because so many times we expect our five feelings, don't those feelings feel amazing? If you say what do those feelings feel like to me, they're just in one word, it feels joy. And my motto is follow your bliss, do what you love because that's where you find joy and joy is the biggest attraction. But so many of us are vibrating in lack, fear, scarcity, worry but wanting all of this it doesn't work like that so you just learned the secret if you take one thing from this call it's the journey has to feel like the destination feels and you get more of how you feel things to come in so you will actually manifest the gap there will be people that come back on this call in one year from now with exactly the money that they wrote down in their bank from whatever their businesses and endeavors are because they became the person that can hold space energetically for that fund to come in. Will that be you? I want you to see this call like a shower, like the biggest scrubber dub you've ever had, <laughs> where you like scrub off all the pain, all the worry, all the things in the way, you rub it all up and you get out and you feel so fresh and new. And I don't want you to let any muck back on you. I want you to be free for the next level. So what, how many people would you love in your team? Would you like 500 new leaders? Why do we keep saying four, six, eight, ten? Two this month, one next month, and three the month after, just in case I get feel a bit busy. What if you held space for other people to become as good as you as leaders so that they could actually run big organisations and teams because they were trained by you to become someone as opposed to just be someone in your business. Are you teaching people to become or just be? Are they becoming better than you, becoming you, or just being a piece of puzzle in your business? I want people in my life, in my business, in my teams, in my organisations, in my multiple businesses to have what I have, to become more successful, as successful, even more abundantly successful than me because they're not someone in my business they are their own business and they deserve to have it all are you teaching people to lead at your level which would let you lead 10 times 10 times 10 times more and impact more because all that you want and desire is on the other side of impact the lives you change will be represented in your paycheck of what you change so that's the audit of your business. Now let's go for your goals. What are your goals? What are your goals for your business? We've done finances now. We've got that sorted. What are your personal goals? What are your health goals? What are your mindset goals? You might have a few. And some of these questions you'll want to go back to after this call. But what are they? What are your goals? And... Why do you want to earn it? Now, why do you want to have what we wrote down? Why do you want to have or be or do the thing? So you might all have a goal and people say you should get the gear or do this and you, you've worked out what you want. We just felt the feelings of being in the highest version of ourselves, which absolutely can happen for you this year. What would that feel like if you really knew why? Now, you don't want a why that makes you cry. You want a why that makes you work. And the why 
is like the fuel that goes into your car. Think of yourself having the most amazing uh, Mercedes-Benz, Ferrari, Rolls-Royce, Bentley, whatever car you love. The hottest, shiniest, sexiest, most amazing car. And you get in and you're feeling so cool and you put your foot down on the pedal and it doesn't go anywhere. Because, <laughs> oh, you forgot the gas. You forgot the petrol. You've got to fuel it with why and it will go as fast as you want and you'll know exactly, exactly why you're getting that driver's seat. Why do you want to be, do or have the things you love? Why? Why? Okay, so goal. So for example, a goal in business might be to earn $20,000 a month. Why? If I earn $20,000 a month, I could quit my nine to five. I could retire my mum, and my children could go to dance classes in the afternoon. If I made $80,000 a month, I could move my parents closer to me. I could um, travel such and such, whatever it is. Why? I did a podcast this morning and um, the interviewer said, for the next big level of Cassandra, what is your dream income? And then why do you want that? And I said, you know what? If I had that level of income, which I know I'm going to attract, I'd be able to have a jet and I would be able to fly in and impact people in real life and fly back to my house by that afternoon. I could get up, do my personal power hour, work on my business, get on the jet, fly in, speak for an hour or two, breathe massive belief into people so that they could trickle it forward in the world, get back on the jet, be home with my family and loved ones because time is so precious. And that's what that level of income would allow me to do. It would be much bigger impact and yes, in person's always best. So why not provide that to the world with no limits? And that's why the level of income that I have is so important to achieve because it means that I can serve the world at a much more efficient high impact rate. I would literally fly to Australia, do this call, come back. I could fly to London, do this call. I could come back and I could do four days, do four calls and four, literally that's what's possible. Boeing bully. Yes. Um, I just have, I, I literally, I literally have the vision of having believe if I can, you can up the tail of the jet. So, and you're all welcome. I'm going to get one that we can all be at. <laughs> Won't be that big. It's going to be cute and little, you know, um, but that's why. So it's not like, oh, because I just like, you know, order my favorite meal at the restaurant. Guess what? You can do that next month if you put in a bit more effort like you can't have a why that's really close but want a huge goal you need to have a why huge enough to match the huge goal otherwise you won't do the work if you think you'll think oh, i'm already there and be careful of your subconscious subconscious mind because you'll think oh i'm just gonna set a goal that's achievable because then i don't have to be in fear so a year ago today i put up a post and it came up on my memories today so as you know, I just put my book out to the world and it's called Believe If I Can, You Can. If you want a copy, it's on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, and it's on audio. I narrated it. So the, the audio book is out there as well. Um, and I'm so grateful for your love and support and oh, the love is just beyond for the support and your messages and like your reviews. And it means so much because I'll tell you something. It's actually really scary releasing your soul to the world to sit on a shelf that anyone can get their hands on. <laughs> and I went into like this fear of like, what if it's not loved like I like it? What if it's not? Like I felt massive fear for about four days prior to the launch. And even when it went out, I was like, Amazon, delete, like, oh, Bunza, delete, like abort mission, abort mission. <laughs> And I truly said to myself, do you know what? I'm not scared of my darkness. I'm scared of my light. We are so scared of what we're powerful and capable of. I had to grow through that. And one thing I've learned about writing a book is that 
everyone has that in them already. It's just some people have the courage to do it. Like all of you could write a book. And that's one thing I know now. I know how to write a book and I'm going to help people write books because I believe in whatever I can do, I want to gift it over so other people can have the chance to do that as well. Whatever I do, I'm going to teach it and I'm releasing that in a day or two. But I know exactly what to do, what not to do, all the things. But when you, I, I remember I in my posts, literally, that came out a year ago today, so it came on Memories, and it was the quote from Marianne Williamson that says, you know, it's not our darkness we're scared of, it's our light, because, you know, that's the famous quote. I don't know if you'll know that, but it's the most amazing quote. I'll, I'll find it for you really quick and read it to you. But I literally... I literally, it's like it was a reminder to me. And, you know, in that post I wrote, um, believe if I can, you can, on the post a year ago. Like it's just, anyway, bizarre. But it really made me feel that all the things you want, if there's any feeling in you of like, oh, man, like I so know I can live this life but I'm scared or this income I'm scared, it's just the feeling I've had with the book. It's the same thing. It's a can I? Because you know what? You're not scared of your darkness. You're scared of your light. You really are. That's it. And so I want you to, I want to read this quote to you. It's so, so amazing. I'll read it to you. And this is what I posted. It was so bizarre. Okay. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. So just think, it's not that you're inadequate. You know you're adequate. But your deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. And we ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? I want to say to you, actually, who are you not to be? Who are you not to be? Tell me why you don't deserve it. No one has a good enough reason. And if you think it's good enough, it's not. You are a child of God and you playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened. What's the highest vibration on the emotional scale? Who knows what the highest vibration on the emotional scale is? Enlightenment. That's it, Evie, enlightenment. Evie knows that because she's in my Empowered Women's group and we talk about this a lot. <laughs> There is nothing enlightened. So there's nothing like you want to be the highest vibration on planet Earth. It's enlightenment. Joy is before it, then enlightenment. It's when everything you think about manifests as positive. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking that other people, shrinking so that other people feel insecure around you, so that they won't feel insecure around you. Who has goals and then thinks, I wonder what everyone's going to think. Who has goals and thinks, oh, is my partner, friends, family, how are they going to like love me, like me if I'm, if I'm operating here? It says there's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to manifest the glory that's within us. It's not just in some of us. I am no different to you. But you know what I do do? that you are welcome to do with me, which I practice, I move forward still with the fear. You all have dreams. You are as epic, powerful, more capable than me. But I work forward, walk forward, move forward, despite the fear. And I walk forward despite the feeling of unworthiness. My book is there. You probably think, oh, wow, she's amazing. All this riddled with thoughts of unworthiness, even though I write about it in the book, but I teach in the book that you've got to walk forward anyway. You've got to move forward anyway. Because it's not about me. A book is like the most selfless thing you can do. You make nothing off it. A couple of bucks. At one point, my publisher said, of this type, of this level of um, Kindle, you're going to be making 20 cents a book. <laughs> Like literally, there's no money in it. It's just a tool to serve. And it's like putting your underwear on the shelf. Like it's so open. It's like, ah, oh. right? But 
I'm as scared as you to do the things you want to do, but I've just decided that I'm going to do it anyway. And that's what I call you to do with me, to believe that if I can, you can. And it says the glory to manifest what you want is not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our fear, our presence automatically liberates others. And I want you to take that on. I want you to take that feeling on and say, if Cass can do it, I can do it. And wherever you are in the world, whether I'm with you or not, just know there's this little light of fire, like a flame. Like, you know when you have a candle and there's just flame in the dark room, there's one flame? That same light burns in your gut and that is my belief in you. And no one can blow that out. I want you to take me wherever you go as your human-sized permission slip to believe in yourself. Because you are worthy and deserving of living your truest, highest, grandest vision you hold for yourself. And I promise you, I'm here with you every step of the way to make this year and beyond the best you've ever had. So I want you to just feel the feeling of when I feel fear, it's good. And when I feel fear, I'm going to do it anyway. Because if Cass can do it, I can do it. So after you've gone through writing out your goals, of what you want in each category, you're going to have to do this in time when you've got time. It might be something you do tonight before bed. Write down your goals in personal, fitness, finances, life, relationships. Write down how you're going to do it and why. Now, the how doesn't really matter. So if you don't know how, write the why first and the how will show up. Now, I want you to now create a 90-day goal I have a goal for 90 days I always work on five goals at a time anyone that works with me behind the scenes knows some of my biggest goals this year and I have written like by this date 90 days from today it's done and I'm like working on that 90 day I know what the year wants to be I know what the end of the year needs to be but what does that first 90 days look like what is that first 90 want to achieve five key goals and if you're going for a rank you're going for a promotion uh, if you're going for thanks Tari <laughs> you're going for a rank you're going for a promotion and you're going for that next level that first 90 has to be five key goals that if I woke you up in the middle of the night and sat you up and shook you and said tell me what you want tell me what you're going for you know so clear you can just speak it out. It's I am this, I am this, I have done this, I've created this, I'm so happy and grateful now that I've done this. Done. Speak it out. Like you need to know it. And every morning when I wake up, the first thing I do is go into prayer. The second is to go into gratitude, visualization, speaking my affirmations, and then I write my goals in the present tense as if they're done. And those five goals are just they come out of my hand on the paper they're just known to me because they're done I feel them I live them and as I go through life I live in my five main feelings that I just taught you about knowing that those big goals are mine because I feel it and the journey has to feel like the destination feels so the same feeling you feel on New Year's Eve in 2022 you've got to channel back to feel today for the first 90. So what are you going to create? What does your first 90 look like? What's going to happen? Is it that you're going to go to this rank, this level, produce this, create this, say yes to this? What is it going to be? Who and what are you going to create in those first 90 days? And we have already done number four there where it says, who do I need to become to show up as the habits created to make this reality? Who do I need to become? So when we think of that last thought, that that 2022 New Year's Eve, that visualization we just did where we just manifested and felt all the things to do with what we created. When I was saying, 
let it go. What are you going to let go? You're going to say no. You're going to let this go. That's not coming with you. It's something that has to release. If you're the you in the future house, the you that walked into that house, not that you're going to visit your future self, but that you were the future self. And if you don't know what I'm talking about in relation to this, it's my future self visualization, which I've trained out a few times. But if you don't know what that is, please, after this call, go to my podcast and listen to future self visualization because it's a very very powerful tool it's also the opening chapter of my book but it will really help you um, transform and feel what I'm talking about so in that we go visit our future self today we are our future self in this moment at the end of 2022 we are it and we're feeling it as of this moment today right now when I said let go what doesn't come with you write down what that is what are you committed to letting go of no matter what? What are you committed to letting go of no matter what? Yes, Kate, become an area manager. Mel Bond, sign your life size permission slip. I love that. So the first, every chapter of my book has an exercise, at the end, a challenge that cements that, that chapter into your um, subconscious into your neuro, um, neuro system, your nervous system, neuro system, nervous system. The challenge makes what I've just shared with you real because the book is 31 chapters of my best 20 years with my story woven through to help you know the strategies, principles, tactics, skills, tools that I've used to create the life, businesses and the success that I've had. And I was dedicated in this book to hand it over to you so that you could believe that if I can, you can. So what is that for you? What is that thing you're letting go of? What are you saying no to? Because if it's not a heck yes, if it's not a full body, heck yes, this is aligned with my five feelings, guess what? Unfortunately, you have to set the boundary to say no. Are you going to walk into that house as you, your beautiful future self, and be carrying baggage like old, big, black garbage bags of trash. Trash for my Americans. Rubbish for my stress in the UK. I love how when you all text me, you text try and text me in Australian terms. <laughs> I love it. I love you all. Would you walk into that? Would you walk into that holding big bags of like, oh, hang on, I've made it. But you know what? I'm just going to hang on to this thing. I'm just going to hang on to this concept. I'm just going to hang on to this silly belief. Or are you going to be pulling up with like a big mover truck that's got all your baggage in it? Or are you going to walk in with one beautiful light hand bag or man bag and be like, I'm here and I let it all go. And that's why I'm here with peace. And that's why I'm here with knowing and self-belief. So what are you willing to let go of? I shared with you what I was willing to let go of and I knew that that was the thing that had to go. No excuses for poor behaviour. Someone acts poorly, even if I love them and I believe in them and I've got all these justifications around them, it's like, I'm sorry, I can't be aligned with that until they level up and until it's back in alignment. Doesn't mean I don't love them but I don't have space for that energy if I'm going to stay in alignment with my highest, truest, grandest vision. What is that for you? And then to say no to things will free you with time. And you know, people say, oh, I just can't say no. I've just helped everyone. That is self-betrayal and self-sabotage and it's self-abandonment. And saying, oh, I just can't say no. I'm a people pleaser. All of that, that's on you. How much longer are you going to use that as an excuse to? Because it's also an excuse. We have a lot of excuses in life that are dressed up as fancy things that sound good, that attract attention. People feel sorry for us. Sicknesses, like not that all sicknesses like that. I don't mean that at all. But, you know, do we blame it on a headache? Do we blame it on that, you know, oh, we can't, oh, we can't do that because, you know, I've got to do this or I feel like this. Like what is it that you're dressing up as fancy excuses, justifying, complaining and blaming that are holding you back from growing. And I want you to think that your time is so precious. Time is like finances. 
to who much is given, much is expected. If you're given finances or you attract finances or you earn finances, energetically, you'll only get more of it if you know how to treat it and respect it and look after it. Same with time. You can either use time as a powerful tool that's on your side or time can use you. How present are you in the moment? How present are you with your time? How well do you map out your time? And I'm all on. T- I'm all for time blocking. Um, and in my book, I talk about how to time block, how I've done it in my career. And with the green, red and blue pens, textures, sharpies, they help you map out your week. And blocking in moments of 15 minutes is really powerful when you're really busy. And that can really, really give you massive access to things. And the concept is that you want to do the big rocks first. You want to do early in the early in the day, early in the week, early in the month. Do the hardest things first. Like Brian Tracy says, eat that frog first. That's why in my evening power hour, I teach before you go to bed, you write down what you're grateful for. You write down where you could have done better, where you fell from grace and what you can do more of or become more of and what you what you're proud of. And then you write the five key things that you must do the next day before you even start your day. And they come in straight after your personal power hour. They're part of your personal power hour first thing in the morning. And if you do the hardest things first in the day, the rest of the day is easy. But if you put them off, guess what? Energetically, they're like an energetic leak, an energy leak. And you'll be thinking about those hard things all day until you do them. That's better if you do it in the morning. And it's like putting the big rocks in the bars. So I put a little video there. There's two videos there for you to watch after this. One is um, one is all about time management, putting the rocks in the vase first, then the pebbles, then the sand. So many times we do all the fun stuff, the sand first, then we try and stuff in the pebbles and the rocks and they don't fit, and then we put it off for next month. And that's not how you, your truest, highest, grandest future self operates. You've got to do the hard things first and you'll free yourself because sometimes we think we're busy. Sometimes we're just energetically busy. Our mind is busy because we're thinking of the things we should do. And are you committed to scheduling your day every day just for the first week ahead? So what if you put with your red pen, red, green and blue, with your red pen, you put in your diary all the places where you couldn't say no to it like it was where your job was where you had to pick up your children like you couldn't say oh no sorry kids you just hang out at school I'm going to take an appointment like the red things are like cannot be moved okay the blue things are things for you it might be yoga pilates going to the gym having a massage cooking dinner things that you do for you and your family and green is gaps of go go time so you might get off this call. I know in Australia it's early. So you might get off this call and go, right, I've got 90 minutes of go time now. Now guess what? If you decide what you want to do when you get to the go time, when you get to the green spots in your calendar, you're going to do what you feel like doing, which is not much. Because feelings will take you out of the game if you decide in the moment. If you ask me what I feel like doing in an hour, it's go for a massage. <laughs> but if I do what I should do, what's locked in my calendar is be on a call. That's a Zoom call, right? So if you pre-plan, you think, okay, well, tomorrow I've got an hour of green. I'm going to fill that green with appointments, showing the plan, showing what's up, doing the work, reaching out, doing phone calls. When you get to it, you'll know what you need to do. And you'll know where the speckles of time. And when you do this, guess what? I've had people that say they've got an hour a week, find 14 hours a week that they can do stuff in. And never be afraid to block in blocks of 15 minutes at a time so that you can calculate them all together. 15 to 90 minutes is always key to look for. So are you committed to doing that for the next week? Now, accountability. Accountability is so key. When you play the drum on your own, your drum sounds great. When you play your drum with an expert, you think, oh, I need to up my drumming skills, <laughs> right? So you go to the gym, you think you're awesome. You get, a, you get a personal trainer and you're like, whoa, I've got a lot of work to do, okay? Accountability is king. An accountability buddy is really key. So I encourage you to find an accountability buddy that has the same goals, that's going to the same place. Now, this is not a whinge buddy. It's not a whining buddy. It's an accountability buddy that says, do you know what, Tanya? You said to me at the beginning of this week that you're going to ask three people to do the business every day and you've only asked one. Doesn't matter what's happened in life. You're going to ask two more. And you lovingly hold them accountable 
to what they've said. So at the beginning of the week, you send the goals for the week. And once a week, you choose a time. We have a half an hour call together, phone call, Zoom call, and you plan the next week and come back and you've got to bring your results. And it might be that just each day you flick a text to each other or a voxer to each other that says what you've done and what you said you're going to do and you've written it out. Accountability is so powerful because, you know what, you on your own, you can sail great with a captain. With you, you can see so much more. Two are better than one. Okay. And these are the core questions you could ask on your call. What's your win? What did you learn? How many asks? How many faces? How many times did you share a video, a tool, customers enrolled, consultants enrolled? What can you improve? What do you do for fun? Did I show up on social media this week? Did I do a live, a reel, stories each day? Things like that. Be accountable to each other because it's so powerful. And I encourage you after this call to find an accountability buddy. Someone of a similar level to you, but still inspires you. So that you would think, oh, I don't want to let them down because I did put my word to this. And you can share with them your future vision, your money that we talked about, the feelings that you're going to operate in. And share wins. Like I said no to this because it wasn't aligned with one of my five feelings. And I know Cass said the journey has to fill out the destination feels. So are you aligned with your 90-day goals? And you truly, truly need to realize that you can create whatever you want. Now, there's seven areas of life and they are, they are like seven pillars. Full fulfillment means that you're succeeding in all seven. So they're your leadership, your emotional strength, your relationships, your finances, your contribution, your fitness and health and Really what that is, is that all of them? That's all of them. Um, what they are, they're pillars. Now, it doesn't mean that you justify, oh, well, do you know what? I can just tell that like my relationships aren't popping. So I'm going to go on all these dates because I'm going to just do that and my business is going to suffer. It's that it's balance. It's that you are choosing balance and that you're choosing like, you're choosing to do all things well and aligned with each other. So you're not sacrificing something for another, but you might bring them together. You might think, okay, I'm going to bring my family into my vision board. I'm going to tell my children that if mummy or daddy makes these extra funds, we're going to go to the play park on the weekend. Or like, I love how Dana has a beautiful little girl with her on this call. Like it's learning to be cohesive with your life and your family and your relationships and your visions and your leadership and your goals and bringing them in alignment. So how could you align things so that you could actually not sacrifice any pillar? And a contribution might be putting a dollar aside for a charity to start with. It could be five, but it could be whatever it is. But how could we do all things? Because guess what? When you become more and you get more, you only become more of who you already are. When you become more and you get more, you only become more of who you are. Okay, so it's not that you're going to go, well, now I'm going to start do that. It, like basically you are only, become, only going to become more of who you really are when you have more. So if you practice now becoming more, then honestly, it's going to be so powerful for you because you'll realize that, as you grow and you give, you, you might only give a dollar away, 5% of your income or whatever, $10 or $20. When you grow, you'll still give 5%, but you'll be training yourself. When you live in, when you live your life, you'll put 10% back into investment in yourself. When you, you know, your household funds will be like 25% of what you spend, you know, of what you make. If you stick to those rules now, then you're really going to start creating a life that is aligned with your growth. And it won't be difficult for you to um, grow because you'll already be living in that. You'll already be an example of that. And then you'll get more of it. 
they'll give you more. You'll get more things. You'll get more to look after, more time, more finances, more team to look after, more love, more abundance, because you've shown the world that you know what to do with it. Okay. I have a special gift for you. If you haven't received, if you haven't accessed the book yet, I encourage you to do. If you haven't, if you have got it, I want to give you a little gift and it's because I truly believe in you. And I made a course this year called 21 Days to Believing in Yourself. And it is my signature course. I've had, um, I think about 215 people do it so far, over 150 reviews. It's my signature course. It sounds small because it's called 21 Days and a lot of 21 Days out there are just like, you know, short, sharp, whatever it is. But it is my best 21 principles to what I've learned and know. And if you register today, um, like I literally, it's thousands of dollars of information in there. Um, I sell it obviously, but I'm giving it to all of you for free because you're on here with me. And oh, Brie Marie led her to one of the biggest breakthroughs she's ever had in her life. So thank you, my love. That is so amazing. That honestly is what comes from this course and it's once you register it'll welcome you and then day one it'll start the next day so if you register tonight tomorrow day one it'll start every day you'll get an email there's a video and a document for each morning or each day whenever you have time in the day but it truly will transform you I've never heard testimonials from any other piece of work that I've done as powerful as this and so it's in the opening of my book. So anyone that buys my book is getting a gift that's worth thousands right in the first few pages to do alongside the book. Um, this is a course that I want to gift you. I'm going to put it in the chat. Um, I want you to love it, learn it, fall in love with it. And on the back of this, that was the skeleton that inspired me to write the book. And there's another 10 chapters in the book in addition to this, but that's what it came from. Um, and I'm currently writing my little sequel called 21 Days to Believe in Yourself, Believe If I Can, You Can for Teens. So I'm going to be providing a book for teenagers to help them find that self-belief and worthiness and love from a younger age. So, um, and he is on day five. Amazing. So good. And tag me when you do your day. So many people tag. I love seeing that, seeing what day you're up to, seeing any breakthroughs, ahas, things like that. Um, I love interviewing people for what they've got out of it. But 21 days is my gift to you. If you want more of what I teach and more of what I say and embody and have learned, it's in this course. I sat in a studio for 12 hours and recorded this in one day with no notes. I just literally spoke from what I know I've learned. So this is Cass on screen <laughs> video. <laughs> if you want to know what's in my heart and what I want to, if you sat across from me for one day, this is what I'd teach you. But just do one a day, apply it, see how it feels, impact yourself, share it with other people and literally, um, yeah, see, see, how it, see how it impacts you and your future self. Anyway, I'm going to love you all so much and leave you. So I think... What I'll do is I'll do a book launch soon. Um, one, we're going for some bestseller statuses and bestseller is on, um, if you want to get the ebook, it's just 99 cents. But if you'd love to get a hard soft copy, that would just mean the world to me when that comes out. But if you'd love to leave a review on Amazon or Barnes and Noble, I'd be so grateful. Um, and those reviews really help. So we're going for bestseller status by, and we find out on the 14th of January, um, which bestseller statuses we've achieved and received. And then once I've done that um, and we're here, I'm going to have a book launch party, a big party where we're going to all celebrate together and I'm going to do lots of Q&A and things like that on there. So I love you all with all my heart. You have blessed me today beyond measure. I'm so excited about what we're creating together. I know that I'm here for you every step of the way. I'm only ever a message away. Um, and just know I love you and I believe in you and anything is possible if you believe and anything you want, like I say on my, on my front cover, everything you want is on the other side of believing. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for being on this call. 
Thank you, Nate, my amazing co-host, co-partner in business and life and all the incredible things that we are also creating for the world together. I'm so pumped about everything and just know there's big things to come. I'll be launching Cassandra House International in two days' time where I'm going to provide a platform where you'll be served and have access to be served in a whole nother realm. So I'm excited about that. Let's make this year the best year yet. This is your year. Thank you, everyone, for being on this call. Have a beautiful evening. Big love from me. Tag me. Share your testimonials. Share what you love and got out of it. And anything you need, I'm here for you. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Big loves. Big loves. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to House TV Chats with Cass. Please rate, subscribe, and share. And I would love if you left a five-star review. You can find me on Instagram at Cassandra House underscore or Chats with Cass. Please tag me, tag your friends, and tag anyone this episode could help. I cannot wait to see you next week where I believe in you and your life and your mission even more so you can achieve what you want. And I'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for listening.